Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is my 31 days of horror movie reviews. And every year that I do these 31 horror reviews, I always try to include a couple of current present day horror films that came out the same year, ones that maybe I hadn't seen yet, and so I use this as an excuse to watch them. So I'm using this as an excuse to finally watch Abigail. Abigail is a 2024 film that was directed by Tyler Gillett and Matt Bettinelli Olpin. Oh, I never get these guys' names right. But they directed the more recent Scream movies. And with everything that happened with why they ended up leaving the Scream franchise, I was curious to see what their next project was. And this film, I'll be completely honest, I did not see a trailer. I did not see really anything about what this movie was. I had heard things. And so I, I can't say that I wasn't spoiled on maybe a couple of aspects of the movie. But going into this movie knowing the least amount possible is the best way, I think, to watch this movie. So I will do as good of a job as I can to not reveal anything. This movie's fucking nuts. <laughs> it is. I enjoyed myself quite a bit, but I also felt myself get very tense, have the heebie-jeebies. I'm not going to say it's the scariest movie I've seen this year or the scariest movie that you'll ever see, but I found myself being tense. I found myself sort of getting nervous for a lot of the situations and scenarios that these characters found themselves in, and that's the test for me. If I can watch a horror movie, especially ones that come out today and that can give me that feeling, I'm going to say it's a win. Also, I appreciate the humor, right? This movie did not take itself all that serious. This movie did have some jokes and humor peppered into it. And also, this takes a big cast. There's a lot of well-known names and good actors in this movie, and it did a good job of presenting the characters as unlikable people, or at least people who have done messed up things, but yet I still felt bad for them whenever something happened. Let's go through the cast really quick. We have Melissa Barrera, who it's cool to see her in this movie because given the situation of her and Scream, I'm sure a lot of you already know what I'm talking about. This was her first project after that, and I think she did great. For people who try to say she's not a great actress, or oh, she's the weakest part of the Scream movies, whatever. I think this movie, she shows that she can carry a film, especially in the horror genre. This was her best performance that I've seen. Dan Stevens, of course, great actor, so you gotta have him. Kevin Durant, who, he's a guy that's been sort of like, He's been around for a while, and he's been like slowly being in a bunch of things. Catherine Newton, speaking of somebody who I'm pretty sure is just cast in every movie that's being made now. She was great, though. Angus Cloud, a guy who I had to look up because his performance in this movie, I was like, I kind of want to know more about that dude, <laughs> more stuff that he's in. I've never seen Euphoria. I saw that he is well known from that show. But I also saw that he sadly passed away at the age of 25 just last year. So that sucks, man. He seemed like he was a talented actor. Also, Will Catlett. John Carlo Esposito. Of course, another guy who is just in everything. And also, Matthew Good. Who, if you look at him, if you've ever seen him in a movie, you could probably guess the role that he's playing. But I want to mention this little girl. This little girl 
who sort of gets caught up in a bad situation, and then obviously there's a lot more going on. She's played by Alicia Weir, and the movie's named after her, right? Abigail, that's the character's name. She was fucking great. She had a lot of things that she had to pull off as a young actress, and I think she did all of them very believably, very well, big props to her as an actress so this movie before i go any further i'm gonna say i highly recommend you guys watch abigail if you have not seen this movie if you do not know anything about this movie go in as blind as you can i'm gonna give this movie a full price now now that we got that out of the way now that you know what i think of the movie now that you know my rating for the film why not fuck it Spoilers! I cannot believe that this little girl that this group kidnapped because they wanted money from her father, she turned out to be a vampire. God damn, was that a mind fuck, and especially the way that they reveal that. I still think the movie works if you do know that going in, but it's. It's crazy how well this little girl pulls off playing the innocent scare type to then being this vicious animalistic monster that's scary as all fuck. And the violence was on point. The gore was on point. You saw people getting limbs and whatnot ripped apart. I know when I say that I was creeped out, I was. I'm not going to lie. I was. You have a good vampire story and I'm going to get instantly involved but i love the effect of even when vampires when they touch sunlight and they in this movie they just explode i love that let's get back to vampires just exploding from the sunlight and the various twists and turns of like oh this person's a part of it or this person set them up the ending of the movie left me in such a weird place where I don't know if they're trying to set up a potential sequel. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm actually looking forward to whenever I eventually rewatch this film. So guys, all right. Hopefully I didn't spoil it for anybody who didn't want to be spoiled. I warned you. Let me know in the comments below if you too saw Abigail. What did you think of it? Did you like it as much as I did? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Deep silent screams became a part of me I'm moving past that Please don't you free my soul Can't hardly breathe in this society I'm just a madman Please disagree, yeah Please disagree